Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, presented by New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg, Mass. Sponsored by North End Mazda Subaru in Lunenburg, Mass. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, staying here with this week's bowlers. To my left, after last week defeating the reigning king, Dan Gothier. Welcome back, Dan. Thanks, Dennis. And to my right, with a roll-off score of number 387, with number three seed, Ray Weatherby. Hello. <laughs> nice to be here. And you're no stranger to the King of the Palace. You've been here many times before. What are your thoughts about bowling against Dan? Oh, it'll be fun. We bowl in the same league and everywhere, so... It's going to be same as always, just bowl well. Very low-key, he just takes it as, as it comes. It. <laughs> and uh, what are your thoughts about bowling against Ray? I'm just hoping he doesn't throw a lot of doubles. I bowl against him on Monday night, and when he's on, man, the strikes just come. So if he can, you know, get a few bad breaks, then I, I might be in it. <laughs> well, there you go, see? Well, good luck to both of you. I hope you don't throw any bad boxes, either one of you. So uh, good luck to both of you. I'll see one of you in the 11th box. Up first on Alley 3, Mr. Ray Weatherby, who is no stranger to the King of the Palace. Veteran oh. King of the Pin Bowler cranks it up. He's been on many other TV shows, too. Comcast, New England Candle Pins. Yep. Loves to go King Ray, of the Pin Bowler. Ray's highest average is a 118. He's been bowling for 38 years. His high single is a 199. His high trip is a 481 as he opens up with a spare. His home alleys are Colonial Lanes and Bogey Lanes. Which Colonial? Uh, I believe in Worcester. Where's the other one? Weymouth. Bogey. Oh. There's one in Maine, too, I think. Oh, oh no, they just closed down one. Never mind. A little, a little off to the right. Shows over to three. Weak ball to the right side. Needs a head pin. Shows it with a four, doesn't he? Yes. Four. Okay. Oh, the five pin did not get hit until now, and it's not hard enough. Ray Bowles on a shot in the beer league in on the Monday doubles. Nailed the King pin for 10. And I'm trying to convince him to join the Friday Night Pro Team. <laughs> no success so far, though. Up now on Alley 3, the man that defeated the reigning former champ, Corey Packard, Mr. Dan Shugothier, coming out of Milford, Mass. His high average is a 113. He's been bowling for 35 years. His high single is a 192. His high trip is a 464. Opens up. Nice pocket hit. Leaves the 610. He laid waste to Mr. Corey Packard last week with an unbelievable finishing score of a 156. Nice shot. Yeah, he was just on fire. And he's starting right off with bad The answer is Ray Weatherby's spare with a spare of his own. I was talking to Dan um, after last week's match, and he said that the tear in his MCL, or ACL, whatever it is, uh, it's only a halfway, so the doctors won't do anything to it until it fully tears or it heals on its own. So he, but he said it's helping him. Well, just as long as he doesn't tear it during the show. Yeah. <laughs> he said there was one box where it gave out on him, but other than that, it's, it's helping him. It slows him down. It makes him more focused. So, you know, it, it's helping him. Yep. Fills, fills the spear with five. five yeah. Shoe bowls out of a, uh, the Academy Speed League and the Friday oh. Night Pro League, as well as Monday doubles. Leaves the nine pin, I think. It's nine pin, yes. Yep. Thank you, Dennis. And he nailed it for 10. You are watching match two as the closeout of season five. We had a spectacular season. Thank you very much for everybody coming down and partaking in the King of the Palace. We've had doubles champions. We've had um, the BCT champions. We've had 80% handicap champions. And we've very had the very first ever female champion. Becca Vestal. Congratulations to all, and thank you all for participating. And don't forget the uh, scratch champion, Dave Godwin. Yes. <laughs> I, I can't blame you, Ray. <laughs> yeah, he, Bowling got, he got hosed on that one. But, but Dennis, how did that five pin stay up? The, the Deadwood can hurt you as much as help It must have ricocheted. I, he's, he's still shaking his head. He just looked at us. The Deadwood deflected the ball away <laughs> instead of directing it towards it. But why? That's, I know, angle of deflection, yeah. I know. This is the true game of inches, not, not football, because an inch this way or an inch that way just changes the entire well, we concept. Oh, he got his break back here this time. Wow, look at this. He's got the force it's all, it's all set up. Is he just going to run it? Yeah, but yeah. He's, you know what he's saying right now. Nice fill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nothing wrong with an eight. You really want to. Come on, Dan. 
Come on, Dave. There you go. Beautiful hey. shot. All right, you got the spirit. Hasn't left the pin tuna. standing yet, so. I mean, he's still shaking his head. He's still moving his arms around. How did the five pit stay up? I right. love You know what I love about Ray? He's, he's like the silent assassin. Like, I used to I call Craig Holbrook this all the time, too, because he, he's not very talkative, but, man, can he fire on the lanes, and he's just got to, like, just take it take it as it goes, the leaner of him. Well, Bobby's the same way. Bobby, come. Yes. Yes. And by, for you people up now, there, well, Bobby jokes around a little bit more than Ray does, though. Right. Bobby Lincoln and Craig Holbrook, professional candle pin bowler. Okay. Look at Blue this shoe off to the left. I mean, off to the right leaves the one. The four, the seven, and the nine. No wood on the deck. This is going to be a pretty tough pickup. Yeah, good yeah. luck on this one, guys. <laughs> I would well, play the right side of the head pin, just try to graze well, it. I'd go, to the, I'd go to the left. Just like that. Yeah. Yep. I would have went to the inside. But, you know, like you said. Well, then you don't, you don't get the nine pin. Well, that depends. The, the, hopefully the head pin would have got it. And, ooh. Now, Dennis, right there. He's got a breaking ball. He curves. As he makes contact with the four. How did the four pin get pushed right back into the pit? It went straight back. It was too I saw full. It was too it full on too it. Directly on it. Yep. Even though the ball was spinning. Oh, off oh. to the left. Yeah, it looks like he was hurting on that one. Yeah. Yeah. I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors. North End Mazda Subaru in Lindbergh, Mass. Visit buynorthend.com or go to see them in person and see Marty Babineau's excellent sales staff on a new or pre on Mazda or Subaru. Also, go to YouTube, type in Watch me suck at bowling. Visit, my, see my friend George do parodies on candle pin, duck pin, the phony baloney weighted ball greasy alley ten pin. I don't know if he does duck pin. I'll have to ask him. Well, we'll have to get it on there. Okay, you get to nine. After four, Dan Gauthier at 47, Ray Weatherby at 44 working on a spare. Well, Ray can open up some distance here as they say box number five lane number three string number two and give a shout out to everybody out on youtube and on facebook and on local access oh, oh, no. oh right through the heart look at this mess goes up with four I'll thank you one. for watching king of the palace and if you want king of the palace in your neck of the woods dennis tell them what to do just contact your local public access provider. Tell them you want King of the Palace in your neck of the woods. You sign a piece of paper. It doesn't cost you anything. And they contact us, and we stream it to them. The biggest goal is to get this back on uh, uh, a major station. Absolutely. Um, even if it is for at least one show, we can say yep. we did it. Exactly. Yep. yep. If you know anybody that you know works at TV stations or anything, we already have the product. All they got to do is air it. That's it. Yep. Oh, so instead, this. Nice instead of having seven fishing shows that are showing the same thing, why not throw one of them as a candle pin show? Yep. Why not? I don't even care if it's on at 1 o'clock in the morning. Well, I do, but I'd rather it be like at noon, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, but whatever. If it's 1 o'clock in the morning, hey, at least it's on the show. Yes. Right. Come on, Ray. Oh, and, oh, and, with, and with all the channels out there, you figured there'd be one out there that would say, hey, you know what, we'll give you a shot and see what happens. And I had this argument, well, not even an argument, I just had this rant, I guess you could call it, a few seasons ago about a nice 10 for Ray. Uh, it's called New England Sports Network. There is no more New England of sport than Candle Pin Bowling. And they, they're not help, trying to help us out by any means on it. And I'm not bashing Nesson because I love Nesson. Nesson does a great job at anything, but, I mean, support your own. You're a New England Sports Network. Help us out. Yep. Get us in the door. Do something for us, please. Dan Gelfi, a wide left. Then we can get, we can get uh, Travis to do Travis, it. Travis, a, a nice high-paying job. Yeah, I'm pretty and sure Travis, would, Travis wouldn't be scoffing at a, a six-figure paycheck Absolutely someday. Absolutely not. They see what he's producing here, and they're like, wow, that kid's got talent. He does have a lot of talent. He yeah. makes us no. look and sound spectacular. Well, especially Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I openly admit it. <laughs> that's, why, that's why there's no camera on us anymore. <laughs> hey, thanks, Steve. <laughs> oh, shoe leaves the I'll finger of God. I'll, I'll remember that one, David. Okay. <laughs> Nothing like candle pin bowling, guys. No, I've been trying to meet the elusive Deborah. He speaks very highly of her yeah, all the time. One of these days. The delightful Deborah watching the, watching the show. Okay. Right down the middle of the plate. Oh, look at this. Another one. Wow, look at this disaster. Three, four, seven, ten. That's not too bad, actually. If he goes to the right side of that three yeah. pin, you can shoot that over there, and the, and the wood might even help him, too. Yep. Oh, oh, he just missed it. Yeah, Want to thank everybody that came out to partake in the final King of the Palace of Season 5. We cannot do what we do without you, so thank you very much. It's 
very much appreciated. Dan's a little off right now. We're looking to uh, see season season six, where we're gonna hopefully have some new faces. Um, we had Jimmy Nestor come in the house. Mm -hmm. um, we had Ryan Drago come in the house. We had Paul, we had a manatee. Ray Weatherford goes wide left, and he's left the Colon. Where else, today. where else, but in Candle Pin Bowling, can you have a squirrel, a shoe, and a manatee all show up at the same time? Wow. That's right. That, that, Good point. Doesn't exist. Don't forget, too tough old cloth. He's here. Yeah, too tough cloth. I saw one of the, the Parker guys over there. I, know, I don't remember. Stan. Stan. Yep, Stan Parker. Good friend of mine. Excellent Kenlip and Bowler. Any viewers questions this week, Dennis? Yep, I see. I'm reading through some, some of the nonsense ones. I think I'm just going to give shout outs to Miles Meyer. He's been on here on here many times commenting. Uh, for one of the BCT shows, you put fast bowling going by too fast, but fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you what, the doubles is like quicker Ooh. than a hiccup. It really is. No, you know, D David, the more people talk about it and we discuss it. Wow. That, wow. Was, that was a fascinating thing you did. You know, putting two people on. Like you said, you're not bowling for one person, you're bowling for two. Well, I mean, it's, it's king, yeah. when you do the King of the Palace doubles, it, you know, yeah. unlike the, the BCT doubles, the King of the Palace, you actually have to bowl as one person. Yeah. So you really have to rely on your partner. Yes. Whatever your partner throws, you have to either you know, build him up or continue what he's throwing. Because it, if one of you guys is off and the other one's off, then you guys are not going anywhere. Yeah. Not, not bashing a BCT's format at all, but that's, no. theirs is different than ours. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I, I, out, of all of, out of all the tournaments that we put on here, the, the scratch, the, the singles, the doubles is my favorite. Yeah, it's oh. everyone's favorite. You know, it's everyone's, yeah. it's the quicker than a hiccup. You know, it's oh, rapid five, fire. String, five string qualifier, three string matches. Bang, 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 go, go, go. And I've been telling everyone we're, we're thinking, we're, we're throwing the idea around about doing next year a um, mandatory mixed doubles, but the interest has to be there. Yeah. We, we can't have five teams show up because only five women want to bowl. Right. We need, especially like the women's division too. We, we had 26 women say they were coming in another 13 show, which Oh, oh there it is, Stevie. Oh, Jesus. I know, I hear, I hear. The, the Braun Chuck. Which were, Dan, Dan were, Galtier just, excuse me, Dan, <laughs> he just waved to me, he said, I stay. <laughs> we're very grateful for the 13 that showed up, and we had a great match. Becca Vesto became a great champion. They closed it out with a huge triple yes, strike. Yep, yes, yep, but right on I, I'd like to see more women get back into it. I, I, I've i been bowling around the pro leagues, and we've been watching from, you know, 20 plus years watching. And I used to see, there used to be a women's pro league. That was yeah. how many women used to bowl, but now it's just dwindling down, and it, it's yep. sad. After eight, Dan Gothier at 79, Ray Weatherby at 80. Close match. Two Up now on three. alley three, Way Weather, Ray Weatherby. <laughs> well, I almost said Way Weatherby. <laughs> bidi, bidi, bidi. His favorite shot is a single with a with wood, and his least favorite shot is the eagle and the diamond. Oh, I love the diamond. Um, when he's not bowling, he's a U.S. Postal clerk. He loves spending time with the family and watching sports. He's got the one. Six. Oh, oh, come Could on. it fall back into it? Nope. It's wiggling. Hold on. It might go. Huh. It's going. It did fall. Oh, no, uh, it didn't take the 10, though. No, not enough to. Uh, and a quick shout out to John Smith for his comment on YouTube. Um, I'll just sum it up basically saying he didn't appreciate our comments about 10 pin bowling. Oh, leave well. It, leave it at that. Yeah. Phony baloney bowling. I'm not Phony baloney bowling. Who is this? Not even a comment. John Smith. Hey, John Smith. If that is your real name. <laughs> hey, John Smith. It's phony baloney 10 pin bowling. I gave it to him. Good. Uh, he just, he said uh, we should try 10 pin bowl and that none of us would even hit 175. Well, I used to bowl 10 pin and I, I hit 221 at one point. So I just, it's too, it's not as challenging as candle pin. Read the thing. Read it. Because th there's like, uh, all that? right. Oh, I'll wait till Ray finishes up. Uh, oh, picks it up. Spare. Okay. Is that a spare or a 10? I wasn't really paying attention. No, he made the spare. Spare. Yeah. Got a fill. He's got with just the uh, fill ball. He's at what? One? He's 100 me, right now. You want me to read it so you don't get grief? No. I'm used to getting grief. Hey, if you want to read it, go ahead. Okay. All right. What are you? I have no problem here. I'm just trying to keep the score back. Oh, look at this. Rex a rack. Nice finish. Okay. So, what's his name? John Smith. John Smith. Phony baloney, eh? 
Well, let me tell you what. Why don't the three of you get together with George, do a 10-pin house for an episode of Watch Me Suck at Bowling, and then I dare you to put it on your show. I bet none of you get over 200 or even 175. Hey, if PBA pros who go up to Maine every year for the PBA League Tournament to do Bo, 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 Bo Portland, a house that is now the official home of the PBA League and can give a try to tent Canlapin, then you can put your money where your mouth is and prove to me how easy 10-pin is. I bet you don't have the guts. <laughs> well, once again, John, I used to bowl 10-pin. I used to be in a league 10-pin uh, one night and Canlapin the next night, so I know what I'm talking about. First of all, I have never seen a, pro, uh, no, a PBA bowler throw, throw a Canlapin ball. I have. It's been on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, it's been on the Facebook. And I mean. how'd they do? They were terrible. All right. So, I don't know the guy's name, but he bowls with two hands. Yep. And he tried to throw a can up in the same way, and it didn't work out too oh, well for him. Uh, well, no, no, it's because he couldn't put a spin on the ball full of alley full of grease. Right. I mean, come on now. John Smith. Thank you for your comment. I appreciate it. I missed uh, Dan's nine box. Nine box, yeah. Ninth box. Was there a nine? Nine, yeah. Okay. He's into the tenth box now. He's shooting the ones. Sorry about. Sorry for. Six. Sorry for their. Uh, uh, okay. Derailing everybody on that one. Oh, which way? Hey, listen, what's nice, pick up. nice ten. That's a pick, David. It's, it's bowling, but not considered. The I mean, I'm pretty bowling. sure. I'm pretty sure if if I grew up with doing phony baloney bowling, and I went to the alleys and I kept on throwing the ball that way with a, with a curve ball, you know, a weighted ball down the greasy alley. I'm pretty sure I'd get pretty good at it, too. David. Oh, shoot. Off to the right. right. You're throwing a 16-pound, 14-pound ball filled with metal or whatever. I don't, whatever. I don't, know, I don't know what it's filled with, but it's Who not. Knows? It's, 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 it's filled full of junk. Good luck. Dan leaves. <laughs> Dan leaves the one, two, four, seven, eight. Leaves a metal. Oh. Oh, is he going to pick it up? He's left a reverse half whistle left. I just had to go verify the box that I missed. Were you right? Yes. All right. Well, D Steve cool. was right. And picked off the nine, opens up with a, excuse me, gate opens up with a nine box. So after the first string, Dan got there with a 98, Ray Weatherby at 110. Shoe's favorite shot. Anything with Tricky Wood? And his least favorite shot's the one, two, four, six, seven, nine, and 10. And whenever he's not bowling, he works for EMC as a Dell software engineer. He enjoys video game, uh, video poker, and board gaming. Well, I'll, to, I'll have to ask him if he like what kind of board games, like Monopoly or that kind of stuff, or is it like um, Magic and all that kind of stuff? I don't know. That's really not a board game. It's more a card game. Well, they, they think they do have a couple board games like that. But I was into Stratego. You ever play that? No. That was a great game. I played Pie in the Face. <laughs> I play that too. <laughs> you guys, you guys, well, we got a quick break. You ever watch this show called Pawn Stars? Yes. Did you see the the episode a week ago? They were selling a bowling machine. We you? No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't oh, the it. old school bowling machine. Yeah. yeah. W w was it, is it with one like, what, did it have like that little disc? Yeah. You yeah. know what that thing sold for? No. $3,500. I remember playing those. Ooh, half was to left. I had one of those when I was a kid. Remember that puck, how heavy that thing was? Oh, you, yeah. You yeah. could kill someone with that thing. Yeah. yeah. Ray Weatherby's favorite shot is a uh, single with wood, and his least favorite shot is eagle or a diamond. When he's not bowling, he's a U.S. postal clerk. He loves spending time with his kids and with the family watching sports. He wants to give a shout out to his wife, Gwen, and his three kids, Jessica, oh, Ashley, nice. and John. That's right. I know, I know what you're thinking, Ray. Why didn't I throw that the second ball? Damn, <laughs> on YouTube, his head. YouTube, we're up to 586 subscribers. Wow. We almost hit my 600 mark. Come on. It's not done yet. Cranking up. Lane number four. Five. Right down the middle of the plate. Here's the check mark. Check mark left, which is the Two, four, five, seven, very, very difficult spare. Made maybe, I'd say, two times out of ten. And it wins again. Way to hit the object pin. Yeah. Very difficult. Not as easy as it looks. And we're going to an eight box. Overall score right now, 
seconds. Uh, after two, Dan Goth here at 23, Ray Weatherby at 18. Ray's up seven pins box to box. I want to give a shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru and Lindbergh Mass. Visit buynorthend.com or go to YouTube, type in, watch me suck at bowling. See my friend George do parodies on candle pin, duck pin, and phony baloney, 10 pin. Not a lot of action in this match, but very close. Oh, well, every pin counts in this match. Yeah. Ray's oh. got three marks to Dan's one, but it's only a seven pin deficit, so I mean, it's, Dan it's all about time. pinning. Yeah, Take a look at it. He's got the one, the two, the four. Once again, not as easy as it looks. Wow, I'm shocked he didn't call it something. Oh. Ooh. Oh, wow. He's shaking his thought he had it. Sometimes it just doesn't go, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. I know. Went through that last Tuesday night. <laughs> yeah, but we fixed your bowling. Yes, I have Would to make it. Would you from bowling? <laughs> no, no. Steve, no. Steve's been having an issue for a while with um, um, lobbing the ball. Oh. Yeah, two -door. Um, and he got he got really frustrated with it. And, you know, I sat there and we were bowling. And get, our team was bowling against his team one night, and I happened to be watching him bowl. And I told him, I'm like, Steve, just back up on your approach because yeah, he, he started in the middle mm -hmm. right was he bouncing off the foul line uh, no he was no uh, he was throwing it the ball over the lob line oh, oh so when I turned around and I told him to back up a little bit but throw the same ball he did that and once he did that he stopped lobbing the ball oh. and it was in, you know it was in fair play and he actually started doing a lot better good and I appreciate it a true friend David thank you for your time and your effort appreciate well, it that's what friends do for friends. That's right. You're absolutely correct. And I have no better friend than David McCullough. Okay, here's Rayan up on lane number that three. That could bring a tear to a glass eye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, Ray is just chopping. What's going on? Look at They're this. both really chopping. What the is this disaster? Four. The one, the four, the seven, and the ten with a whole bunch of come on. piece of junk on the deck. I, I don't know it's what to tell you. It's not that bad. You've got to hit the head pin, obviously. Yeah, and and it's that bad if you don't hit it. Well, yeah. Got to hit the head pin. Now, Dennis, quickly, you're going after the head pin to try to get the 10 box, well, or are you going to shoot the two? Are you shooting the, the, the four and the seven for nine for nine box? Let's see where everything settles first. Well, either it don't matter. i go for the head pin right now. Yeah, I would, too. Get that dead yeah. wood to help you. In this, this instance, I think that dead wood's going to know. Yep. Wow, oh, look at the ball. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, talk about a bunchy there ball. Is. Holy Toledo. Great weather be smiling. How often does it happen? But it happens. Was it flip is down there? It looked like pinball happening. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a legal ball. They yeah, yeah. explained it to a desk because it, it, it made contact with the pin before. When That's right. Deck. It did. Doesn't matter where it goes. Wow. Opens up with a... Yeah, oh, you can tell he's getting frustrated. Yeah. Oh, he's frustrated. The one thing you don't want to do, and it, and it happens. Uh, try to get the speed here. Hit the head pin, though. Look at this mess. Oh. oh, it's still not bad. Yeah, it cleaned up real nice. I mean, three pins fell after the original contact. It's my favorite shot. It's pretty when it goes. That dead wood's going to hinder him. Yeah. Yep. Probably just cap it and yeah. pray for the best. No matter where he hits, either piece of the dead wood is going to ricochet. Probably cap it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Boy. after four, Dan Gothier at 43, Ray Weatherby at 37. And Ray Weatherby. Gonna, yeah, we, Ray's got a six pin lead. Right now. Neither one would have spare. Nobody has marked this game. No mark. So not yet. It's all about pinning. Dan hasn't marked since the very first box on the first game. And uh -huh. he's still hanging in there. That's what yeah. goes to show you what pinning's all well, about. He's got well, neither shot. one of them are capitalized. Right. He's got a shot here. He's got the he's got the six, nine, ten, one of the six Mongols. Mongol. Triangle, Mongol. Oh. <coughs> now how did that happen? Wanna thank everybody out on YouTube land. Facebook and local access for tuning in and watching your number one Caleb Pin Bowling Show in all of the land, the King of the Palace, where you're watching Dan Gothier versus Ray Weatherby. And when all the smoke clears, when we hit the, the final match, the world title will be on the line. We have no champion right now. Oh, no, no. That, uh, wah, 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 wah. Dennis, that, he finally hits the head pin. He finally throws the ball 60 feet down the alley. He finally does what you're supposed to do. And what happens? He gets penalized. Well, I'm going to tell you what right now. Uh, okay. This is just that poor guy. I'm going to tell you what. They haven't had a mock this whole thing. He hits the head pin, he gets a spread eagle. Look, 
Well, it, if you look at the, if you look at the way they're bowling, yeah, they've all been chopping. Both of these yeah. guys have been chopping, yeah. chopping, <laughs> chopping, chopping. So there's nothing new when you throw the middle of the ball down the middle of the plate and you throw the spread eagle because you're chopping. Mm -hmm. it's, it's still getting penalized for hitting your object. I've said it time and time again. This shouldn't happen. Shouldn't have. Oh, Dennis, quickly. A thought just oh, occurred God. to me. Here oh, man, here we go. Is it a Mongo, M-O-N-G-O-L, or M-O-N-G-U-L? Neither. Mongo. Mongo. Oh, M-O-N-G-O. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. We could, we could call it the Mongro. I never knew that. You ever see Blazing Saddles? Yes. Mongo. Oh, okay. Blazing Saddles. A great roll movie. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Man, my butt is swollen. Right. That looks oh, oh, good nice job. Oh, oh, finally. He, fi he finally think that time, Ray, thanks to Bowling Gods. He deserved it. He hit his object, and this time he got what he deserved. But why does it happen on the Spread Eagle? You don't get what you deserve. And he got tucked. Okay, big ball here, Dennis. Big ball. He needs the head pin. He got the head pin. And oh, no. Went no. right through it. Look at this. This he takes out the one five, what? The one five one seven five nine. Seven nine. Uh, and I believe that's here. a seven pin laying on the deck. Off to the right, uh, chopping out. How, how does that happen? How does that happen? I have no idea. Nice spear and follow it up. And up. Wow, jeez. I know. I agree with you, right? Hit the head pin on the spear and get a seven pin. I mean, a seven box and a three pin. Both these guys are really struggling, to be yeah. honest with you. I mean, for Ray to still be holding on to an eight pin lead. Yeah, after six, Dan Gauthier at 62, Ray Rutherby at 58. Wow. Especially That's after Dan finished off Corey Packard last week with a 156. That hasn't even well, come close to it. Yeah, way left, and look at this mess. You know, I mean, his knee could be, uh, you know, affecting it, or he probably threw it all the way last week. It's, yeah, it, it's amazing. One string to the next, how things can change. You could throw a 200 string and then come back with a 103. Yep. Well, that, that's what you strive for, Dennis, correct? Consistency. Well, <laughs> you'd like to see some consistency, right. but only if it's good consistency. Well, right. I mean... You don't want to throw three 1 0 games, you know? You, you'd rather three... I would rather throw three 110s than one 130 and two 100s. Right. Oh. And, oh, boy, oh, boy. Are we off one mark and, what, 15 boxes? 17 boxes. Mm. Yeah. Boy, oh and boy. This is for the, the... And he's not up by much. He throws yeah. a couple mocks and he's right back there. Both these guys are excellent killing them both. Oh, right there it is. He just, so they just not have any luck until... Nothing's breaking up for him. Shu just dropped the bomb. Clean up on aisle four. His first mark since match one, box one. Yeah. Mm. Well, up now, Ray Weatherby needs to answer. Ray's Facing a eight box and a strike, and he's what? That's, I, that's all. Eight? That's all there is to it. He has to answer. Mr. White Chocolate, Peter Crawford's in the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's left the one, the three, the six, the nine. Some wood. Got to split the one and the three. I would think. Dave. Yeah, it's not too bad though. He's got a piece of yeah. wood to take out the nine. Well, he's, he's got he's to hit the head pin though. Yeah, he's got to get some part of the head pin to the right. And oh, he did. Wow. Nothing happened. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I know. He's, he's looking. Full. He's looking down. <laughs> Thought he had it. And he's shooting for a 10 bar. Ooh, that was an important 10. Oh, boy. Well, he's box to box. He's still up eight, but now he's up against a strike, so he needs yeah. to match, match the mark thrown by Dan and Leith. Strike or a spare for Ray would be, help him out immensely right now yeah. to hold off. Oh, Dennis, shoot. this is the eighth box of this, and I just saw him check his slide. No, well, they helped him. He found the oh. pin. He's left a nice spare This lead. is all set up for him. Yeah. Just... Not, that nothing's wood. ever easy, though. You well, got to you know, put your head on it. Yep, this isn't 10-pin. You no. got to get away from the... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He's got to get the... We said we wanted... Oh, there it is. There it is. The spear to half match to strike. What's his name? John Smith? Sorry, John. John Smith, yeah. Sorry, John. So after okay. eight, Dan Gauthier at 80 working on a strike. Ray Weatherby at 76 working on a spear. Still a pin lead for well, Ray Weatherby. This, this is it. Shoe this is working it, on alley three. Who will, the, who will continue on? Let's Double see changes things. Yeah. Let's see what happens. I say it all the time. Big ball. Big ball. Right down the middle. Uh -huh. Leaves Just the four horsemen right. Leaves the th one, three, six, ten with a piece of wood. Two pieces of wood on the left doesn't even be a factor. I noticed that Dan's ball is actually cutting more than it normally does. It's curving more. So that's probably why he's chopping so much. Well, if that was the case, then I'd probably step over and have a board to the, to yeah. the right. If that's where he's missing. Oh. Wow. Still fills it with eight, though. Okay, big, big two pins. 
quickly? You're going to go to the wood to no. the left, or are you going no. at the pins? No, that wood would do nothing yeah. for you. Yeah. Um. Oh. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Yeah, that, that wood that's facing the yeah. pins is too straight. You'd have to be angled a little bit more and it's facing it. Dan closing out match number two. Dan needs to mark right now. To really put the pressure on. Okay, here it is, people. Well, box number ten. No, the, 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 the way Ray, Ray's the way Ray's been throwing. I mean, you know, it may be kind of tough. Right down the middle of the plate. Look at this. He's left Leaves the five. five ten with a whole bunch of junk on the deck. This is not pretty. The five ten in Canopin Bowling, better known as what, David? I don't know. The, the washout. No, the Woolworth. Woolworth. The Woolworth. The Woolworth. They closed a long time ago. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Along with that saying of the leave. He's going Playing the wood. Oh. Wow. Wait a minute. Nope. I know. Short He's pin, short pin, it. short pin. It's wiggling. Oh, and this 10 pin's going to... Ooh, there you go. Wood's in the channel. Now, see, David, Dennis, quickly. This is a rule that I think they ought to think about, taking one of those pieces of wood out. Why would you take the wood out? Well, because there's no possible it's way no, you can not make... The game. You can't make that 10 pin if you keep the ball... On the alley legal because you're going to hit Deadwood in the alley. Up now, Ray Weatherby working on a spare on alley three, closing out game number two. We'll talk about it next week. Okay, here we go. Want to give a shout-out to our sponsors for the last time on, the, on match number two. Thank you, North End Mazda Subaru. Visit bynorthend.com. Wow, Holy what a job. Visit bynorthend.com or Holy visit them in person. See my excellent friend Marty Babineau and his sales staff for a new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru. Also... Go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck At Bowling. See my friend George do parodies on Candlepin, Duckpin, and what's his name? John Smith? John Smith. Tony Baloney, 10 pin. Uh oh, this Ooh. match is not over. What's it down to? What do we got? Three pins? It wouldn't be the king of the palace if there wasn't some kind of drama coming down to it. Well, baby. he needs a four, right? No, wait a minute. He needs a seven box. Seven. seven. Six to tie, seven to win. Wow. And the way he's been throwing it. That's yeah, it. Do it. One. All right, he's one. Ray Weatherby comes Ray down to the last box. The last Chris ball. Monahan. Chris Monahan next week. I think that's who it is, right? Dennis David? Uh, yes. Yes. Number two seed, Chris Monahan. Uh, Finishes with a spare. Yeah, he came on in the second half. Uh, Ray box, Weatherby has brother. defeated yep. Dan Gothier, who defeated... Corey Packard. Now, Ray, next week we'll face Mr. Chris Monahan. And let me tell you what, this kid has a fireball. Don't let his average fool you because he steps All up right. in the playoffs. Look at this mess he left. The five, six, seven, four, four. Hits the head pin and leaves us for a mess. Want to take up this final moment to thank everybody behind the scenes, myself. Steve Bronchuk, Dennis Nuzzo, the OEPD, there he is for making there. us look and sound all that great and well, and this bowlers look spectacular. Also, Amber, for all the work that she does behind the scenes, and Me Mr. Too. Rick Santucci for keeping score. Yeah. Congratulations to Ray. What do we have for the rundown? Dan Garthia threw a 106 for a 204 total. Ray Weatherby for a 10, with a 105 for a 215 total. Dan had one spare, one strike. Ray had six spares. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching The King of the Palace. Now, let's get to the 11th box with the Nuz and meet the winner. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, standing here with this week's winner. After defeating Dan Gothier with a score of 215 to 204, Ray Weatherby. Uh, congratulations, Ray. A little tough going, but you managed to squeak it out. Yeah, I kind of come in a little heavy on the head pin, but I tried to make an adjustment. It was just enough, so. Yeah, it was, it was like a couple of lumberjacks out there. Everyone was just chop, chop, chop. But, I mean, you guys were hitting the object pins. You just were getting nothing to show for it. But congratulations. Uh, you one step closer to the belt. What are your thoughts on that? I'd like to have it. It looks nice. I wouldn't mind. I you know you want it, too. But I was waiting for somebody to say it. <laughs> uh, well... <laughs> Uh, congratulations again, and next week you'll be facing a number two seed with a roll-off score of 391, Chris Monahan. I'll see you and everyone then.